This video is sponsored by bootcamp.com. Check it out for INBDE prep and use coupon code MENTALDENTAL for 10% off. Hey everyone, Dr. Ryan here coming to you from the beautiful state of Virginia. And today's topic is going to be how many questions do I need to get correct in order to pass the INBDE? Guys, if you like the content, please like this video, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. So one of the most common questions that I get is what percent of questions do I need to get right in order to pass the INBDE? And so let me answer a common misconception first, and then I'll give you my answer. So the misconception or the mistake that people often make is thinking that you need to get 75 or more percent of questions correct. And that's not true. It's true that you need to get a score of 75 or above to pass the exam, but that's a scaled score. It's an adjusted score calculated behind the scenes. And that scaled score is anywhere from 49 to 99. But that doesn't mean getting 49 to 99% of questions correct. It's a hidden scale. So what we really want to know then is how is that scaled score determined? Now, of course, the more questions that you get right, the better you'll do, but the honest answer is it really depends. There are so many variables that we simply have no way of knowing ahead of time. For example, some questions are secretly weighted more heavily than others, so they'll contribute to your final score more than other questions, and we have no way of knowing which questions those are. Some questions don't even count toward your final score, and they're simply thrown in there as experimental questions so the board examiners can see how people interpret them and determine whether or not they'll include them as actual weighted questions in future versions of the exam. And lastly, it depends on how other test takers perform on the same exam and questions that you answered. So, for example, if someone says, wow, my day one was so easy. And you're thinking, oh my gosh, my day one was really challenging. That doesn't really mean anything because those might be two very different versions of the exam with very different questions. And those questions should be weighted appropriately. And your final scaled score depends on how you did relative to other test takers who took your version with potentially the more difficult questions. And by the way, this is how a lot of standardized exams are scored, so there's nothing too unusual about this. So, if you really want to know a percentage of questions that you need to get correct, I'll give you my best estimate. So my best guess is in the mid 60% range. So let's say 65% correct. And that's roughly two out of every three questions that you need to get right. But again, don't forget, some questions are weighted more heavily than others, some don't count at all. So I don't want you worrying too much during the exam that, oh no, I'm, I feel like I'm guessing on way more questions than I should be, or I feel like I'm getting 50% of them right and not 65%. Don't worry too much about that because we simply have no way of assessing an exact percentage for your version of the test. Instead, take it one question at a time and do as well as you can with the exam that you're given and the questions that you're given. Guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I loved doing it from beautiful Virginia. This is Dr. Ryan, and until next time, keep studying, and I'll see you in the next video. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to this channel for much more on dentistry. If you'd like to support me, please check out my Patreon page. And thank you to all of my patrons for their support. You can unlock access to my video slides to take notes on and practice questions for the board exams. So go check that out, the link is in the description. Thanks again for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next video.